Hello everyone, I'm Eris3 and welcome to part 39 of our Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. Today I'm just going to be going around and talking to the people on the ship. Kind of get all the reputation points I can before going into the uh, Rannoch mission. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the Refugee Memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. The missions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Cool. Alright, let's go talk to James. I still can't believe you went inside again. I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get this. Hey. Hey. What are these people doing? Apparently nothing. To engineering. See if anyone has anything to say. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Time to talk to Jabbik. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Commander. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Those FBA couplings you got last tour are still holding up. Thanks again, Commander. Commander? All good, Commander. All good, Commander. Sweet. Up to the crew deck. A little busy right now. A little busy right now. But said to come visit you. Okay. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. But we need to break free of nature. Open our minds to new forms. 
forms of life. So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? If that Geth is minding his own business, he has more rights than Cerberus. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. Good to see you, Commander. How are you, Commander? Let's go see what Garrus has to say. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tala here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? This is going to be a rough war. Another time, maybe. Time to talk to Liara. And check out our intel. I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Good to see you again, Shepard. Good to see you again, Shepard. Alright. Power damage or shields? Shields. Shield bonus or power cooldown? Cooldown. Store discount, power damage. Discount. Cool. Check out this stuff. Up to the CIC. Uh, yeah. Crap. Wrong button. <laughs> That's the opposite direction. Commander. Something to 
shoot right now. Commander. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Hello, Shepard. Commander. We should drop off the stuff on the citadel as well. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Okay. So, wanted to talk to Jacob. Something else? I'm glad talk we had time to, to talk. Me too. And Shepard. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. Okay. okay. So we've got to go to the doctor. There's got to be something. I came across this treatment plant at a chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is... I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. Cool. Okay. Up there. Need to go to the embassy. And commons. The embassy and then the commons, all right. Spectre status recognized. One moment. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got some... A Reaper code fragment. Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. All right, well, while I'm here, I might as well do the uh, weapons demo. Okay. So. Let's see, where is new guns? It's this one.
not. Typhoon. As you can see, it has a little bit of a uh, spin up time. And this is one of the new pistols. Wait, actually, I think this is a shotgun. Apparently, fires cluster grenades. Interesting. And this is the Chris A sniper rifle. It uh, fires little rockets. pistol. It's got some oomph to it. Single shot only. Yeah. So we're gonna go with the acolyte, the piranha, and the kishok. Striker assault rifle. Alright, so here's the striker. It uh, fires kind of like mini grenades and speeds up as you hold the trigger now. And this is the piranha. Automatic shotgun. Very nice. I use it a lot in multiplayer. Uh, in order for it to be most effective, you have to use a smart choke with it to kind of tighten up the pellet spread. But when you do that, it can be uh, pretty devastating in close range. This is the shock harpoon gun. You charge it up, and then it fires a harpoon that can actually just like go right through stuff. Sorry, that was one of my roommates. And this is the uh, Acolyte Pistol. Which you have to apparently charge and then has a dancing grenade. Interesting. Alright, so that's all the new weapons. Just gonna fix my loadout now. to uh, turn in that uh, mission there. Spectre status recognized. Please select a One moment. Pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you? Never mind. 
tech like this, I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. When war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. Excellent. All right. Back to the Normandy, which I think is a faster way. Yep. All right. So, okay. yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, that was part 39 of our Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.